Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna go over a YouTube ads retargeting strategy that I call the bucket strategy. Now this video is gonna be like two parts. In this first part, we're gonna go over the strategy itself and so I'll explain this diagram right here. And then in the next part, we'll come over to Google Ads and I'll show you how the campaign is set up and configured. So that's, that's what we're gonna do in this video. Now, the reason I like this strategy is because it is simple to understand. It's also easy to set up, like it might take an hour or two, uh, assuming that you already have your ads already created and you know, you're, you're creative created, right? Um, also, I like it because it works. So as long as you have good offers and good ads, like this strategy works very well. It's a good solid retargeting strategy. And again, it's easy to set up and implement. So it's a win-win across the board. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So of course, you start off with your cold traffic. So you gotta bring people that don't know who you are, uh, they don't know what you have to offer or anything like that. You gotta bring them into your world. And so we have cold traffic and typically you'll have like a similar audience you'll be targeting, or maybe you'll do a keyword audience or a custom intent audience, something like that. And your goal would be to bring those people into amazing content. So this might be a blog post or it might be a video on YouTube uh, where they're watching it, they're seeing that you know what you're talking about, they, they start to like you, all that type of stuff, right? So they go from cold to knowing who you are and we call that warm traffic then once they know who you are. So you bring them to amazing content and then you have this bucket over here and this is the bucket. And basically it's an audience of warm traffic. And in this particular case, I call it an 11 day retarget. Now you might have like a three day retargeting window or seven day or 11 day or 14 day or 30 day. Like it, it just depends on how you wanna go ahead and configure it. But for those 11 days, for example, we're gonna be showing this group of people that we're retargeting, we're gonna be showing them different offers. And so like it might be a lead magnet. So you're trying to generate leads it might be for offers for products or services. This might be like a free plus shipping offer or a low dollar value offer, or it could be a high ticket offer. Whatever you know floats your boat, you might have a couple offers that you're presenting to people. Uh, also, you might have a couple lead magnets. Maybe you're trying different lead magnets as well. Like what I have outlined here, just, just for example, you could definitely change it up to suit whatever your business has to offer. And then you also might wanna mix in some other content as well. So that way people are seeing amazing content over here, and then they're seeing amazing content again and again and again from you, right? So that way they start to like you more and more, right? And so that's kind of the idea with the content there. And then of course, maybe they see your offer again and they're like, okay, I do like this guy. I do want this offer and they go ahead and buy it then. And then for anybody that has taken the action that you want them to take. So if they've already opted in for a lead magnet, you would go ahead and exclude them from this ad, right? Because they've already become a lead. They've already opted in for a lead magnet. They're already on your email list. You don't need to advertise any other lead magnets to them because they've already you know, performed that action. Same concept with your offer. So if they've already purchased a product or service, no reason to advertise to them again for that same product or service. Unless of course they, they need more of it, then it makes sense to advertise it again. But if they don't need more of it, then you don't advertise it again. Same thing with content. If they've already consumed that piece of content, don't worry about showing it to them again, right? So you'll exclude anybody that's taken those desired actions. And that's pretty much the strategy, right? It's pretty simple, like I said. Basically, you have cold traffic, you're warming them up by showing them amazing content, whether that's on your website or on YouTube, whatever's fine. And then anybody that engages with your amazing content uh, winds up in your bucket where you show them different offers. So it could be lead magnets, it could be products and services, it could be additional content and you show them that content for you know a set number of days, three, seven, 11, 30, whatever it might be. And that's that's the whole thing. So let's go over to Google Ads and I'll show you like how I have it set up currently. So right here, I have a campaign and this is my cold traffic campaign and I'm spending $10 a day on it. So, you know, small budget and you see my retargeting campaigns are just a dollar a day now. So again, real small, I'm spending what, $14 a day at this point. So, you know, that's good, good, nice little flow of traffic coming into my website and I'll show you how I'm targeting these people. So let me come in here and this is keyword based. So I'm targeting different keywords. And so I have a list of keywords that I'm targeting and that's kind of written down here, right? Cold traffic with keyword audience. That's what I'm going after. So I could go ahead and optimize these keywords if I want to. So I'm gonna point that out real quick, but I also wanna come into my audiences and come over to my exclusions because this is key right here. So I'm excluding everybody that's purchased the vault already. So if they've already purchased my flagship product, well then I don't need to advertise to them uh, anymore. They're, they're already in my world, right? Because they've already purchased my flagship product. 
I'm also excluding anybody that's engaged with me in the last 11 days. So if they've already you know, watched a video on YouTube or visited my website or anything like that in the last 11 days, I'm gonna exclude them from my cold audience targeting because they're already being retargeted. They're already in my bucket. Right? I'm retargeting everybody that's engaged with me in the last 11 days, so there's no point in targeting cold traffic with this offer, right? So hopefully that makes some sense. Let me back out here now, and we'll check out some of the offers that are in my bucket here. So I have the Vault offer. So if I come into here, and I'll come into audiences now because I'm targeting a particular audience. So I'm targeting people that have engaged with me in the last seven days. And so I'm running a seven day retargeting window right here. And then I'm excluding certain people and I'm excluding people that have already purchased the vault, right? Because there's no point in advertising to people that have already taken the action that I want them to take. And that's what I say up here, right? So I'm retargeting everyone, but those that took the desired action, and in this case, it's vault buyers. So if they purchase the vault, no reason to advertise to them anymore. Let me come back out here to another uh, retargeting campaign. So I have the sales funnel book, and we'll go into audiences now. And we see that I'm retargeting people that have engaged in the last seven days. So again, same audience that I'm showing the vault people to, or the vault offer to. So my bucket over here, you know, I have offer one, which is the vault and offer two, which is the book. Coming back over, exclusions, hopefully you can guess what they are. So I'm excluding anybody that's already purchased the book and I'm also excluding people that have already purchased the vault because they joined the vault, they also got the book as part of the process. So no point in advertising to them again, right? Hopefully that's making some sense. Let me come back out to another one of them. So I have 18 free sales funnels. Now this is a lead magnet. So this is my lead magnet offer here. And let me look at my audiences real quick. So I'm targeting, retargeting everybody in, that's engaged in the last seven days. And again, these are people that visited my website, visit, watched videos on YouTube. So retargeting those folks. And of course, I'm excluding people that have already become leads, right? Because they're already on my email list. No point in showing them lead magnets when they're already on my email list. I'm excluding people that have purchased a vault because you know they're already on my email list because they're already in my program. And then I'm also excluding people that have purchased anything in the last 180 days because if they purchase something, they're on my email list, right? So this should all make some sense right there. Let me come back out. And I have another offer for the vault right here. And we'll go into audiences now. And I'm targeting people in the last seven days and excluding people that have purchased the vault, right? So I'm sure you could have guessed that. And so hopefully all that is making some sense. It's a pretty simple concept. Basically, you're taking cold traffic, you're showing them amazing content, and then you're retargeting those people with different offers. And you know, you just have them in a bucket, like a seven day bucket, where you're showing these offers to individuals. And if they've taken the taking you up on those offers, well then you stop showing them ads for that particular offer. So pretty self-explanatory and simple, but it's a good strategy and it works. And so here are some of my results. And of course, feel free to pause the video and, and you know zoom in on my results and see, you know, you can take a look on your own if you want to, but we'll just look at it like at a broad, a broad level. So for my cold traffic right here, we see that I'm spending about 18 cents per view. So that could be a little high. I could probably do a little bit of optimization there, get that down to under 10 cents, I'm sure. I spent 75 bucks, 24 clicks, you know, 1.79% click through rate. Average cost per click is $3.12, which a little high. I've generated nine conversions off of it though, and 2.2% conversion rate. So that's actually decent enough. Um, cost per conversion is $8.33. So that that's kind of okay. Um, and I've earned one view off of it. So, you know, it's doing okay. I've probably got some room for improvement, especially on my cost per view. So maybe I gotta create a better ad or something like that, or really hone in on my keywords and get that down because I should probably be able to get that under 10 cents per view, to be honest with you. So I should probably take a look at that. Um, my retargeting campaign for the vault here, um, we see that I spent about four cents per view. So there we go. Uh, I've only spent $8, generated nine clicks, 1.28% click through rate. Uh, 89 cents per click, so that's pretty good. No, no conversions, no sales yet, but you know I've only spent eight bucks, and you know one person buying it's at least forty-seven dollars. So I, I got I got plenty of room to play. I just need somebody to buy it within forty-six dollars, and you know I'm profitable, so I'm not stressed over that. I can go ahead and let that keep running. Uh, the sales funnel book then, same type of results. So four cents, spent about $8, 10 clicks, so a little bit better, um, but no conversions here. And so this is getting kind of borderline. I don't make any money selling this book, so I do want to sell them a little bit more frequently, but you know, I've only spent eight bucks, so no big deal. 
Um, another one, 18 free sales funnel. So this is a lead magnet here. And we see my results, four cents per view, spend almost eight bucks. A lot of clicks though, 31 clicks and 4.23% click through rate. So that's pretty good right there, 25 cents a click. But then I've received 24 conversions off of it. So 24 leads um, coming in and hopefully I can go ahead and monetize these leads later on. So that's pretty good. Conversion rate 11.16. So that's pretty dang good. Cost per conversion 32 cents. So 32 cents a lead. So that's, that's pretty good right there. And then for my last offer, it's another ad for the vault, but it's a discovery ad and it's like a tour of what people get when they join the vault. Um, so it has 68 views, uh, three, three cents per view. So, you know, that's pretty good. I've only spent $1.80, so less than two bucks on this thing. And it's generated no conversions or anything like that, but I did get a like on the video, so that's kind of cool. And it has generated 28 earned views. So when people watch this video here, you know, they went and watched other videos that I've gone ahead and produced and, you know, hopefully they like me and eventually down the road, they want to buy something from me. So those are some of the results that have been generated so far. I've only spent a hundred bucks. So, you know, it's kind of hard to you know gauge whether it's working very well or not yet. And, you know, it comes down to my ads and my offers. It doesn't come down to this strategy. The strategy is fine. It executes perfectly fine. Uh, it's more my offers and ads that have the issues. And so those are some of my results right there. Hopefully you found that kind of helpful and insightful. And that pretty much covers it for the bucket strategy. Of course, if you have any questions about it or I didn't cover something in good enough detail, please don't hesitate to any to ask any questions down below. I'm here to help you out. And if you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.